Cleared. Now areas that close slates are still undertaking the defining exercise. The tallying is on and the most polling centers have reported so far. Now the IABC puts the figure at 98% of all the 46,229 gazetted polling stations, just at a 400 polling stations to go. Now this is informed by delays in counting, occasioned by delays in voting, caused by delays in deployment, and in certain areas, it is because of vote, the voting was suspended entirely. Now the numbers that are up so far, the projection shows just over 5 million counted out of the 14 million who voted. Actually, it's about 6 million. We'll be showing you that in a little while. Now, 8 million less than the registered number of voters in this election. 22 million, 120,485. Now, this election, perhaps, Having the lowest turnout ever will also demonstrate that. Now, this is Kibumbi 2022, the continuing coverage. My name is Ken Mijungu, and in just a bit, I will be crossing over to the regions where our reporters are still camping and with live reports. I will also be back on the magical wall. But first, let me take you to my colleague Eric Latif on the other side. We'll be right back. Eric. Well, thank you very much, Ken, with the magic wall. That's the data center. This is Kivumbi 254, Kivumbi 2022. My name is Eric Latif, like Ken has said. I have two guests at the super desk this evening, uh, and I'll be joined by a third one later on in the conversation. Marilyn Kamuru is an advocate and a feminist, and she is proud to call herself that. Wajiru Yekonyo is the national coordinator of the Institute for Social Accountability. We'll be joined later on by Irungo Houghton the executive director of Amnesty International Kenya. Tonight, we are looking at the numbers as they keep trickling in. We are looking at the numbers from the various uh, constituencies as they go to the constituency tallying centers. So what are those numbers uh, saying? What are those numbers telling us? Are we able to then start projecting how this election is going in terms of the MPs, the governors, the senators, the women rep, and of course, the uh, ward reps as well? How is it going to look like in the terms of the presidential race? That's what we'll be discussing with my guest this evening. Let's take you back to Ken. Ken, you can then go into the various counties and let's talk to our correspondents countrywide. Eric, before we speak to them, let's get an overview of the magic wall tonight because this is where all the attention is. The center of att attention tonight is the magic wall. And of course, the latest on the board tonight, the Kenyan map, more painting tonight. And as we explained yesterday, there were very many white areas. But this evening, look at it, Eric, very different. And of course, out of the 22,120,458, already the valid vote, 6,241,713. Last night when I left here, it was at 215. Of course, our team has been taking you through the day on this map and showing you who is ahead. And I'd just like to go here because this is where all eyes are. But don't forget, today we'll also be looking at the race for governors and race for senator and race for women rep. We'll also be projecting members of parliament and telling you exactly who has won, who's in, who's out. And of course, the most important races in the country today. So let's look at this. Uh, William Samuel Ruto, UDA candidate, is leading right now at 3.2 million. That's 3, 2, 4, 2, and 55. That's 51% uh, of the total vote. Just one or six uh, decimal points be, uh, to reach 52%. And Raylo Dinga trailing at 2.9574 uh, uh, votes. That's 47%.42. Uh, uh, and that's a difference of about 300 votes. Now, this has been maintained throughout the day we'll be telling you why and the reason why some of those areas that have voted as at now that have turned yellow specifically are responsible for the turn of events right here where the deputy president is and of course we can't forget there are two other candidates that's professor george waluchiri wadzakoya at 25 117 that's 0 0.40 percent of all the votes cast and tonight we are also learning that there are not just 12 million voters who voted in this election they're actually 14.3 so we'll be telling you that and breaking it down and of course waihiga maure of agano party at 14,747, 0.24 percent of the votes but the focus of our attention tonight eric is right here william samoy rito arello dinga the map is painted green just want to go into the map i just uh, take a look at uh, how the votes have turned out how many of uh, the polling centers have voted tonight now this is trukana we're still looking at um, 
the race in Trukana and out of the 238, 528, the valid votes in Trukana is 2,216. So much um, behind because it's more than 234,000 that have not been declared. So it's Trukana West, Trukana North, Trukana Central, Loima, and Trukana South, and of course Trukana East. And this evening we can comfortably say that this is one of the areas that have declared results. This is another area that have declared results for tonight and of course the remaining two now why do you imagine it's uh, blue it's because rhino dinga has gotten majority of votes uh, as at now from the 2216 rhino dinga has 115 that's specifically in trukana west 1504 rhino dinga is leading now this has one two three four five six seven eight constituencies Rainer leading 70%, William Ruto trailing with close to 900 votes at 28.92. Now that's the reason why this map is blue tonight. But that's not all. Let's take you back a little bit because it's important to get a perspective from the other areas of Trukana. Let's do this. So we're back here again. And uh, the map has just taken a new shape tonight so look for example at uh, trukana central the reason why it's yellow is because out of the 23 valid votes william ruto is reporting uh, 13 and Rhino dinga 10 56 percent 43 percent and that's why the whole of this area the six of the constituencies are all yellow reporting for ruto but as we'll tell you later this is not the real look of this map we'll be going back inside to tell you exactly how these areas are voted tonight we have a long night ladies and gentlemen and this map is going to be telling us the truth and how they have voted apart from that we'll be comparing in 2017 how it happened most of these areas in Trukana Central went to Rhino Dinga at 18,718, 57% of the vote. That was conclusive. Uru Kenyatta Jubilee Party then 13,000. And look at it now, it's all yellow. Now that tells you not so fast. Don't hurry and conclude that this map is conclusive in terms of how many votes have been cast in favor of William Ruto uh, because Rhino Dinga might still get votes here. So that's the outlook. This map is painted. Uh, yellow and blue tonight we'll be going inside and last night when we left there's an area that we hadn't covered Isiolo. let's take a look at Isiolo and why it has turned yellow now sections of Isiolo only two that's Isiolo North and Isiolo South these two constituencies Isiolo South is definitely turned yellow we'll be telling you much about that uh, Cherab and of course Chari and uh, Burat will be breaking it down when we come back because we'd like to cross over to our reporters now because our reporters are the ones bringing all the data that we're using tonight on the magical world now it's interesting night tonight we'll have to break down this map and try and reassemble it look at 2017 we'll try and just compare exactly how this area has voted and just in comparison take a look at this just briefly i'd like you to take a look at um Samburu just briefly because this is important. Let's just mark Samburu and get it off the map now. That's Samburu. Let's look at 2017. How did Samburu, for example, it went red to Jubilee Party then. Let's take a look at 2022. Uh, Samburu uh, turned yellow, obviously, because Jubilee Party had William Ruto then. But as I said, Samburu still have areas that have not voted. Samburu North and Samburu West. So you can't possibly conclude that he's gone to William Ruto. So interesting. We're breaking it down to you tonight so um our reporters are on standby we'll be going to them if they're ready perhaps uh perhaps let all right so let's begin with murimi mwangi who's also reporting tonight good to see you this evening murimi quite some work you have done this evening we know the map is being